Hi Booktube, welcome back to my channel. These are the titles that I read in 2019. I started with Me, My Hair and I, a collection of essays edited by Elizabeth Benedict. Next was Unhappiness of Being a Single Man by Franz Kafka, The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Graves, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware, Pretty in Punxsutawney by Laurie Boyle Crompton, My Purple Scented Novel by Ian McEwan, One Part Woman by Paramel Morrigan, Stay Up With Hugo Best by Erin Summers, Something to Answer For, the inaugural Booker Prize winner by P.H. Newby, The Elected Member by Bernice Rubens, Days of Awe by A.M. Holmes, Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James, The Girl Who Wrote Loneliness by Kyung Suk Shin, and Between Before and After by Maureen Doyle McQuarrie. These are my January reads. In February, I read Golden Child by Claire Adam. Jonas Gordvine by Zora Neale Hurston, Mother to Mother by Cindywe Megona, Ayidi by Roxane Gay, The March Graphic Memoirs of John Lewis, March Book 1, 2, and 3, She Would Be King by Wayuta Moore, The Good Earth by Pearl Buck, Troubles by J.G. Farrell, A Free State by V.S. Naipaul, The Conservationist by Nadine Gordimer, Girl at War by Sarah Novich, Almost Home by Ruma Chopra, the Known World by Edward P. Jones. After Tupac and D. Foster by Jacqueline Woodson. The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin. The Souls of Black Folk by W.E.B. Du Bois. G. by John Berger. The Siege of Krishnapur by J.G. Farrell. And We Were Eight Years in Power by ta Coates. Those are my February reads. Now on to March. I read Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Less by Andrew Sean Greer. The Truth About Parallel Lines by Jill D. Block. Holiday by Stanley Middleton. New People by Danzi Senna. Raise the Titanic by Clive Cussler. Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. The Lieutenant's Nurse by Sarah Ackerman. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. We Are Taking Only What We Need, a collection of short stories by Stephanie Powell. Heat and Dust by Ruth Prower Javala. Staying On by Paul Scott. How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. The Sea, the Sea by Iris Murdoch. Me for You by Lolly Winston. And the Arab of the Future series by Riyad Satouf. And this was a three volume graphic memoir collection. My April reads were Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty, Ramona Quimby, Age 8 by Beverly Cleary, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, An American Marriage by Tayari Jones, The Wife by Meg Wolitzer, The Natural Way of Things by Charlotte Wood, The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Philippe, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Beartown by Frederick Bachman, Terra Nullius by Claire G. Coleman, Burial Rites by Hannah Kent, and in May I read The Printed Letter Bookshop by Catherine Rea, The Incendiaries by R. O. Kwan, Brief Chronicles of Another Stupid Heartbreak by Adi Al Said, Girls Burn Brighter by Shoba Rail, My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyinkan Brathwaite, West by Caris Davis, the Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. The Overdue Life of Amy Byler by Kelly Harms. How We Disappeared by Jing Jing Lee. The Book of M by Peng Shepard. Snow Country by Yasunari Kawabata. And The Story of Edgar Sawtell by David Roblowski. June reads were No Place Like Here by Christina June. Where'd You Go Bernadette by Maria Semple. Valentine and Valencia by Susie Krauss, Night Film by Marisha Pessel, The Summer of Sunshine and Margot by Susan Mallory, An Unrestored Woman by Shoba Rayo, The Sweetest Dream by Doris Lessing, and Queenie by Candice Carthy Williams. In July, I read The Editor by Stephen Rowley. All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remark. Summer by the Tides by Denise Hunter. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Anne Brasheres. 
Master Harold and the Boys by Athol Fugard. There's a word for that by Sloan Tannen. The Mother-in-Law by Sally Hepworth. The Victim by Saul Bello. Fruit of the Drunken Tree by Ingrid Rojas Contreras. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. The Tesla Legacy by K.K. Perez. The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne. Lily and the Octopus, again by Stephen Rowley. Last Summer by Carrie Lonsdale. And Milkman by Anna Burns. In August, I read Gourmet Rhapsody by Muriel Barbary. The Beginner's Guide to Winning an Election by Michael R. French. A Little History of the World by E.H. Gombrich. Love from A to Z by S.K. Ali. Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin. Hollow Heart by Viola de Grado. The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. State of Lies by Siri Mitchell. Unmarriageable by Sonia Kamal. Last Orders by Graham Swift. A House for Mr. Biswas by V.S. Naipaul. And Love in the New Millennium by Kan Shu. My September reads were Rites of Passage by William Golding, The Far Field by Maduri Vijay, Miguel Street by V.S. Naipaul, Happiness by Aminata Forna, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote, A Place for Us by Fatima Farheen Mirza, The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963 by Christopher Paul Curtis, Key Shot by Salman Rushdie, the General in His Labyrinth by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. The Stationery Shop by Marjan Kamali. Paddy Clark Ha 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 by Roddy Doyle. The Stranger by Albert Camus. The Warmth of Other Sons by Isabel Wilkerson. The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. A Room with a View by E. M. Forster. Up from Slavery by Booker T. Washington. Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. History of the Rain by Neil Williams. And The Famished Road by Ben Okri. October's reads were The Unhoneymooners by Christina Loren. The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Rules for Visiting by Jessica Francis Kane. The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. A Woman of No Importance by Oscar Wilde, Silas Marner by George Eliot, another book entitled Rites of Passage, this one by Joy N. Hensley, Disgrace by J. M. Coetzee, The Water Dancer by ta Coates, and Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. My November reads were Gold Digger, The Remarkable Baby Joe Tabor by Rebecca Rosenberg, Lake Season by Denise Hunter, The Road by Cormac McCarthy, into Thin Air by John Krakauer, Twelve Years a Slave by Solomon Northup, Normal People by Sally Rooney, The Swerve by Stephen Greenblatt, The Prince by Nicola Machiavelli, The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. And we finished up December with Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, Travels with Epicurious by Daniel Klein, The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepedis, Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel, The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway, and The Old Devils by Kingsley Amos. I'll make another video where I talk a little bit more about my statistics from my 2019 reading, but for now, these are the titles at a glance. So thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's talk in the comments. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.